This is the Ford Explorer V6 EcoBoost. Here in the Philippines, it sells for 3.2 million pesos. How does it compare to the Hyundai Palisade and its less expensive brother, the Ford Everest? Let's find out. The Ford Explorer is one of the most popular SUVs in the US. Here in the Philippines, it never got quite as popular. One reason probably is the lack of a diesel option, which means that it costs a bit more to run than your average diesel PPV. Number two is the fact that it costs a lot more here in the Philippines than in the US. Because of taxes, the cheapest variant of the Ford Explorer costs about 2.8 million pesos or about $55,000. And the V6 EcoBoost sells for 3.18 million pesos, or about $62,300. For comparison, in the US, it sells between $36,000 for the base trim and about $58,000 for the top of the line. That's a pretty significant price difference, especially for the base trim. In terms of pricing, it competes with the Hyundai Palisade here in the Philippines. We'll compare it to the Hyundai Palisade later, as well as the cheaper Ford Everest. But for now, let's do a walk around of the Explorer. Exterior While the US now has the 6th generation Ford Explorer, that model has yet to reach our shores. This is still the facelifted 5th Gen Explorer The Ford Explorer still looks as expensive as its hefty price tag suggests. It looks strikingly similar to the significantly more expensive Range Rover. Like most American SUVs, it has a very boxy appearance with a very broad front end. The 3.5 has Explorer badging at the front in big bold letters. The front is dominated by this huge grille. It has LED headlamps with daytime running lights. It may be a large SUV, but it doesn't have much clearance at all at the front because of the low chin. It makes the front look broader and more imposing. The trade-off is that its approach angle is reduced. Its approach angle is just 15.6 degrees. Compared to the Ford Everest, which has an approach angle of 30 degrees. Viewed from the side, it looks low slung and sleek. It comes with 20 inch mags. Compared to its Korean competitor, I would say that the design is more simple, but it works. It goes for imposing rather than stylish or trendy. And it achieves that. <laughs> okay, so this is the interior of the um, Ford Explorer. So, yeah. uh, the dashboard looks like it's made of plastic, but it's actually um, soft touch. You have a what well, looks like a rubber coating on it. And this one as well, it's also soft padded. This is another cupboard. You have um, red stitching. Over here you have a wireless charger for your phone. And you have one USB port over there. And one 12, wait, one USB port over here. And one 12 volt outlet. You have an eight inch screen. Um, I'm guessing you have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And then you have your drive modes over here. Um, this plastic uh, the seats are leather leather covered you have black leather with red stitching you also have a leather covered armrest underneath you have um, no USB ports no 12 volt outlets 
not that spacious either. This looks very similar to the um, steering wheel of the Everest. Similar size, similar um, configuration. You have gloss black plastic um, accents and leather with red stitching. Um, over here you have plenty of chrome aluminum trims. Once over here, I think it's real aluminum. Um, overall it looks okay I guess but for the price I would expect something that looks a bit nicer. Uh, the design looks a bit dated and the materials are not what I would expect from a car at this price at this price point. You have a sunroof but it's not panoramic. Only for the front row of passengers. We have um, one, uh, two, two USB ports and one AC outlet. You have climate control controls over here. Uh, this one controls the fan speed, the temperature, and your modes. Legroom is pretty decent. Headroom is okay. I have about this, this much headroom, which is about, I'd say, two inches. I'm five foot eight. Um, foldable armrest with two cup holders. It is very nicely padded. Oh, you also have a, you also have a sunroof here. So it's not panoramic in the sense that you have this divider over here, but you do have a sunroof for the second row passengers as well. Oh, you have a screen over here. Overall, the interior looks nice, but for the price, it is a bit underwhelming. From a material standpoint, it is not very impressive. There are plenty of hard plastics, and you don't even get leather on the dashboard. From a design standpoint, I think it looks pretty plain. It doesn't look as modern or as stylish as the Palisades dashboard. The 8 inch screen looks tiny for the size of the SUV. If it was 2.5 million, I would say it looks good. But at 3.2 million, I would expect a bit more. Here in the Philippines, we have two engine options for the Explorer. The 2.3 EcoBoost and the 3.5 EcoBoost. Both engines are turbocharged gasoline engines. The 2.3 produces 270 horsepower and 408 Nm of torque and the 3.5 produces 365 horsepower and 475 Nm of torque. There's only one transmission option available and that's a 6-speed automatic. Considering that the Explorer V6 has 365 horsepower under the hood, which is a lot compared to your average PPV, I was expecting a more responsive machine. Don't get me wrong, it is not slow, but it doesn't feel that much faster than the 2 liter by Turbo Everest. Probably because the Explorer is heavier, and the Everest, even if it has lower horsepower, actually has higher torque. If you're expecting 
sports car like acceleration, you'd be disappointed. Oh. Okay. Steering is electric, so it's very light and it offers very little feedback. Body roll is decent for the size of the vehicle, and noise insulation is pretty good. Comparison Ford Everest. The Ford Everest and the Explorer V6 are not at all in the same price bracket. Almost a million pesos separates them. But just to see how much more car you'll get for a million more pesos, let's do a side by side comparison. Interior space The Explorer is the bigger SUV and therefore it is more spacious. If you're over 6 feet tall, you might appreciate the extra room on the Explorer. If not, you'll probably find the interior space of the Everest more than adequate. Okay, Tech features. The, the Everest, even though it's cheaper by almost a million, is just as well equipped as its bigger brother. The Everest has adaptive cruise control. It has automated parking. It has lane keep assist, it has blind spot warning, it has power folding third row seats, and it has a panoramic sunroof. Refinement The Explorer's 6 cylinder gasoline engine expectedly runs smoother than the Everest's 4 cylinder diesel. Because the Explorer is a unibody SUV, it rides a bit better than the Everest, which is a ladder frame based SUV. Hyundai Palisade. I haven't test driven the Palisade yet, so I'll reserve my judgment of the Palisade's performance until I get to test drive it. But I think the Palisade's interior looks more current and more luxurious than the interior of the Explorer. The exterior of the Palisade doesn't look too bad either and it has a more fuel-efficient diesel engine. On paper at least, it is a very serious competitor to the Explorer. For most of us practical buyers, I think the main argument against the Explorer is its fuel efficiency. A 3.5 liter V6 powering a 6,000 pound SUV isn't going to be fuel efficient. But at 3.2 million pesos, the V6 EcoBoost Explorer is already aiming for the luxury market. And at that price, factors like fuel efficiency probably don't matter as much. I think its main selling point are its looks. It's a very handsome looking SUV. But the interior is starting to look a bit dated, and in my opinion, it doesn't look as luxurious as the Hyundai Palisade.